Have you ever wondered why madness is historically associated with the moon? Let's take a moment to ponder upon this celestial conundrum that has intrigued humanity for centuries. You see, the moon with its mesmerizing phases and luminous allure has long been a source of fascination and speculation. But its connection with madness? Now that's a tale as old as time itself. The term lunatic, a word we often use to describe someone acting out of the ordinary or exhibiting erratic behavior, has its roots deeply embedded in the moon's influence. Derived from the Latin word for moon, luna, it paints a picture far more mystical than what we might perceive today. The term originally signified someone who was moonstruck, a person believed to be affected by periodic mental instability, thought to be swayed by the moon's phases. Think of it as a dance between the human mind and the lunar cycle, a delicate waltz where the moon leads and the mind follows. This idea, this belief that our mental states could be subject to the moon's whims has been a part of our collective consciousness for ages. But where did this association originate? How did the moon, our silent companion in the night sky, come to be linked with the mysteries of the human mind? To answer that, we need to embark on a journey, a journey that takes us back through the annals of time, to the very cradle of civilization. So join us as we delve into the ancient narratives, the myths, and the legends that gave birth to the lunar madness. As we unravel the threads of time, we'll discover how our ancestors perceived the moon, how they interpreted its phases, and how they connected it with the ebb and flow of human emotions and behavior. As we journey back in time, let's explore the earliest known association of the moon with madness. Our journey begins around 13,000 years ago in what is now modern-day France. Imagine a time when the night sky was an uncharted expanse, the moons waxing and waning the only consistent celestial event. In this world, an eagle bone marked with notches was discovered. This wasn't just any bone, though. This bone held within it a secret that would unlock a part of our human history. This bone appears to have been used as a counting stick to track the phases of the moon. Each notch meticulously carved represented a lunar phase. It was a rudimentary calendar marking the passage of time by the ever-changing face of the moon. Now, one might wonder, why track the moon? Why not the rising and setting of the sun or the changing of the seasons? Well, the moon cycle is consistent, observable, and most importantly, it repeats every 29 and a half days. This regularity made it a reliable measure of time for ancient people. This early lunar calendar might have been used to predict certain behaviors or events. You see, the moon has been associated with various phenomena throughout history. Its phases have been linked with the tide, crop growth, and yes, even bouts of madness. The term lunatic comes from this very association. This ancient lunar calendar could have been a tool to anticipate these events. Imagine, if you will, a community preparing for high tides or planting crops in sync with the moon's phases, or perhaps preparing for erratic behaviors during a full moon. This calendar was not just a way to track time, it was a way to understand the world and its mysterious rhythms. So even in the distant past, when the night sky was an uncharted territory, humans were seeking to decipher the moon's secrets. They were attempting to comprehend its cycles, its influence, its power. Even in the distant past, it seems, people were trying to understand the moon's mysterious influence over us. Now, let's fast forward to present times and talk about a fascinating fact about the Earth and the moon. Did you know that our home planet, Earth, is a whopping 81 times heavier than our lunar neighbor? That's right, it's a weighty relationship indeed. This significant difference in mass has some intriguing implications. For starters, it greatly affects the gravitational pull between the Earth and the moon. And this gravitational interaction isn't just about keeping the moon in our night sky, it's responsible for the ebb and flow of our ocean tides. The moon's gravity pulls on Earth's water, creating a bulge that we experience as high tide. But could it go further? Could this gravitational interplay also impact human behavior just as the phases of the moon were once thought to? While the jury is still out on that one, it's certainly food for thought. From ancient lunar calendars to the gravitational dance between the Earth and the Moon, it's clear that our celestial neighbor has a powerful and enduring influence on us. From the beginning of time, the Moon has fascinated us, sparked our curiosity, and even driven us to madness. Since the dawn of mankind, the Moon has held an almost hypnotic sway over us. 
Its ethereal glow has been a beacon in the night, guiding our ancestors and inspiring countless myths and legends, and yet its influence has been viewed as a double-edged sword. The moon's phases have been historically linked with madness, a connection so deeply ingrained that the term lunatic was born from it. This association, while not scientifically proven, is a testament to the moon's pervasive impact on human culture and psyche. Our fascination with the moon isn't just about its mystical allure, though. It's also rooted in our desire to understand the world around us. This drive led to the creation of one of the earliest known tools for tracking time, a 13,000-year-old eagle bone found in France. This primitive counting stick marked with notches that corresponded to the moon's phases is evidence of our ancestors' keen observation of the lunar cycle. It shows us how the moon served as an essential reference point in our early attempts to make sense of time and seasons. Then there's the Earth-Moon relationship, a celestial dance of gravity and motion. Earth, being 81 times heavier than the moon, exerts a significant gravitational pull, keeping the moon in its orbit. Yet despite the vast difference in their weights, the two celestial bodies are inextricably linked, each influencing the other in profound ways. This relationship, as weighty as it is, underscores the interconnectedness of the cosmos, reminding us that we are part of a larger, grander universe. As we journey through the cosmos, each new discovery brings us closer to understanding the moon's enchanting and sometimes maddening influence on us. It's a journey of exploration and reflection, of looking up at the night sky with wonder and curiosity. As we continue to explore the cosmos, perhaps we'll gain even more insight into the moon's enchanting and sometimes maddening influence on us.